are you making this big mistake when it comes to establishing your niche? You're thinking about your qualifications and your credentials rather than your life. Hi there, I'm Shane Pearson from Design Your Life Coaching. And in this video, I'm gonna help try and help you make it clearer on your niche by avoiding the big mistake of thinking from the academic mind. So when you leave, when you get certified or qualified as your health or health coach or wellness practitioner, you have learned a lot of stuff. And in theory, you have now uh, been equipped to help people in certain ways. And a lot of time when we're laying down our niche, we go to that as a reference point. I want you to forget about that for now and flip it. I want you to think about you and where you are an expert in your own life. To think about that, you need to look at your past. You need to mine your past for your own experiences because you, and it's probably what led you into the wellness world in the first place. You probably have had a challenge, a health challenge, um, mental, physical, emotional challenge in the past that you have overcome. And perhaps that is why you initially trained or got interested in nutrition or health or physiology or exercise or whatever it was. So the where you where you can establish yourself quickly as an expert is when you have already created a transformation in your own life. So the most powerful way to establish a niche before you have the experience of working with lots and lots of people um, is to look at the past, identify the biggest breakthroughs in your life. You know, find out when <clears throat> what was really big challenge for you. Maybe it was, you were struggled for a long time, or maybe it was an intense struggle, and then. You had a breakthrough, something changed. Either you met someone, you learned something, you had um, perhaps it was a therapy or a skill or coaching or supplements or a medication that helped you start to um, find a solution to the problem. When you identify that breakthrough and unpack that, you will realize that you are actually an expert in helping people get from there to where you are because you've done it yourself. So that is a powerful way to do it. Also think about the areas of your life where you've already helped other people. You may have helped um, less, maybe informally have helped people through various stages of their, of their life. Um, perhaps it was a family member, a friend, colleague, or just found your naturally inclination good at something. So think about that experience. If you haven't got the experience already in your new profession, think about the experience you have from your life. And that will help you create what you really need in terms of your business and getting the uh, getting a, a firm footing to the, your business foundations. And that is confidence and giving you a sense of certainty that you can help other people. When you are clear on that, it will really, really, really help you um, identify your niche. For example, I help health, health and wellness coaches and nutrition practitioners um, establish their niche, you know, build, a build, find clients, um, charge and know how, know what to charge and went and, and how to position themselves. Because I came from a farming background. I didn't have a clue. I had to figure it out all, all, all of it along the way and overcome each hurdle as it did. Because I went through that experience, I know that I know those, each of those stages along the way powerfully. And I feel well equipped to therefore help others as they bump or come up against the barriers that they may face along the journey. You have got a different story. So find out what journey you have been on, break it into the stages, the patterns, because there's someone else out there who now, who is where you were. Your ideal client is the former you. I hope this is helpful and giving you more snippets and um, pieces that will help you really unpack this very, very, it's actually a critical piece of building your business in nailing, and it's called nailing down your niche or getting clear on who you serve and how you serve them. In other words, the what problems people have and how, what solutions you offer to them. Okay, hit the like, hit subscribe. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'll see you on the next video.